Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about what is the best entry level cloud certification to get for someone looking to break into cybersecurity. Right now, so many companies, big, small, and even government agencies are pivoting towards the cloud because that's where the future is. And it's going to be so important for you as someone who is looking to break into cybersecurity to understand exactly how the cloud works and how to navigate through it. So I hope this video provides you guys with some sort of insight and clarity on where to start when it comes to your cloud certification journey. I'm going to talk about what I did for my own cloud uh, certifications and also maybe some reasons why you should go a certain route. So like I said before, there's so many different cloud vendors out there to choose from. There's a lot of different certifications to choose from, but the main big hitters in the cloud industry are going to be AWS and Azure. Amazon Web Services and Azure both have their own certifications that kind of align with each other, but it's going to be up to you to decide exactly which one is going to be better for you. So when it comes to deciding between which certification you want to get, AWS or Azure, there's two considerations that I made. The first one is going to be understanding the market share. AWS has a larger market share. They're going to be more common throughout the entire cloud industry. Number two is going to be understanding your employer or the companies that you want to work at. What kind of infrastructure are they using primarily? Oftentimes, you might see a certain industry use a specific cloud provider, like maybe government agencies primarily use more Azure. Maybe private companies use more AWS. So make sure you do your research on what industry you want to go into when it comes to cybersecurity and that way you can make your informed decision. If you're someone who is new to cybersecurity and don't know exactly where to get started, I want to introduce you to today's video sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University. Southern New Hampshire University has one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the country. And I want to talk to you guys about their online bachelor's in cybersecurity program. Within this program, you learn so many different skills that apply to a cybersecurity role today. Some of these skills include understanding hacker tradecraft and how to respond to them with incident response skills. You'll learn how to solve complex cybersecurity problems by applying systems thinking and adversarial thinking to your skill set. You'll learn how to apply security principles and practices to evaluate a system on its risks and threats. You'll also learn how to make informed judgments on computing practice based on legal and ethical principles. You can choose to study the general track of the cybersecurity bachelor's degree or add one of the two career focused concentrations to your program, data analytics fundamentals and project management fundamentals. SNHU is radically affordable and their tuition rates are some of the lowest in the nation. Go to snhu.edu slash bentrong. I'll leave a link in the description below to check out what the average current salary is for someone with a bachelor's in cybersecurity and also to get free information on the program itself. Thank you to SNHU for sponsoring today's video. So after weighing my options between AWS and Azure, I decided to go with AWS with the cloud practitioner certification and here's why. The first thing is that I had no prior experience or background in the cloud or even using AWS and the cloud practitioner certification gives you a good baseline knowledge of exactly how the cloud works, the different AWS uh, services, and then also the shared responsibility model and also how the payment structure works for these different plans. It also goes over the best security practices when it comes to setting up an instance in the cloud and storing information in AWS. It also goes over some different compliance frameworks and things of that nature. This sort of fundamental knowledge is going to be pretty important when it comes to any sort of cloud related role in cybersecurity. Now the second reason why I decided to go with this AWS cert is because first of all it's industry recognized. Obviously it's the largest market share. It's the most well known throughout the entire cybersecurity industry and also the certification itself holds a weight as well. It shows that you have a foundational knowledge when it comes to using the cloud and also AWS infrastructure. And because AWS is the most commonly used cloud platform right now, having an AWS certificate on your resume is going to go hand in hand. It's going to be the most in-demand certification when it comes to the cloud. And because of this, it might lead to more opportunities when it comes to cybersecurity or even cloud computing roles. Now, those are some reasons why I thought AWS was a really good option when it comes to choosing an entry-level cloud certificate. It, but some of the more specific reasons why I chose AWS over Azure is first of all, AWS offers so many more resources when it comes to training. You could use the free training at aws.training, which is what I used. You could use free YouTube videos, you could use some paid options through Udemy and other resources like that. There's just so many different options for your budget, for your learning style, and so on. Now the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification is not the only entry level certification. There's also the Solutions Architect Associate. A lot of people tend to skip 
on the cloud practitioner and go straight for the solutions architect just because they have some previous background in the cloud computing space. For myself personally, I had no prior experience using the cloud or AWS, so that's why I decided to go with the cloud practitioner certification. But if you do have any background in cloud computing, by all means, you can go straight into the solutions architect certification. The solutions architect is a little bit more advanced and it goes into testing your knowledge on if you know how to design and deploy scalable AWS cloud solutions that are also secure. That certification is really valuable when it comes to roles that require hands-on experience with the cloud. And to kind of branch off of the solutions architect, the one reason why I really enjoy AWS is because they offer such a clear pathway for your advancement through the cloud uh, kind of development program. You can start off at the cloud practitioner level, which is where I started at. You don't need to have any prior experience. Then you can move on to the solutions architect, which is a little bit more advanced. And then you can eventually move on to the AWS security specialty, which is a little bit more in depth as well. So you have a clear pathway on how to continue to develop your skills in the cloud for a cybersecurity role. Overall though, I don't think you can go wrong with either AWS or Azure. It just depends on your preference. Azure also offers uh, a bunch of different entry level certifications as well, like the AZ900. They also have an associate level certification as well, just similar to AWS. So to summarize it all up, I think if you're someone who is looking to get some more cloud experience uh, for your cybersecurity role, I think the cloud practitioner certification is a great place to start. You don't need to have any prior experience. If you already have some form of experience with using the cloud, the solutions architect is also a great place to start as well. Overall though, you can't go wrong with either AWS or Azure. They're both great options. It just depends on your preference, your uh, industry that you're working in, your employer, uh, and things of that nature. Overall, though, that is going to be my opinion on the best place to start when it comes to starting your cloud journey for cybersecurity. You can't go wrong with AWS or Azure. Uh, I just went with AWS because that's what I did based on the market share and also my personal experience. So that's my recommendation to you guys. If you found some value in this video, please go ahead and drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new for more cybersecurity related content. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at CyberWithBen and also on TikTok at CyberWithBen as well for more uh, short from content and also lifestyle content. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.